Hi slushy creators! Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a post in slushy v3. First you're going to go to your dashboard and go to the bottom left to posts. Then you're going to have the option to choose between a public post or a private post. Public are available to all users and private posts are locked behind a paywall as either a sub or pay-per-view post. Once you've chosen what type you want, you have the option to choose an image or video from your phone or you can choose a piece of content from your vault, which you've already uploaded. Once you've added your content, you are able to adjust what order your content is in. Keep in mind that the first image on the far left is going to be the image that users see when they go onto your page first or when they view it on the feed. So make the first piece of content on the far left the piece of content that you want to see first. Keep in mind also that video content performs the best on Slushy. Typically, we recommend having a piece of video content rather than an image as your first piece of content visible on the post. We also have an AI button, so you are able to mark content as created by AI and you are able to sell AI content. Please make sure that if your piece of content was generated through AI, that you do label it as AI content. We also have a fit and cover button at the top left of your photo. So you can choose whether or not you want the image or video to fit or cover the whole screen. So for example, I've got a photo here. I can choose whether or not I want it to be to fit or cover the full screen. Keep in mind if it does cover that you might cut off parts of the image but it will fill the screen in full. Once you've chosen your piece of content, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down to your caption section. Here is where you're going to write a caption that is engaging and enticing to increase the likelihood that users are going to send you a DM and respond to you off of that post. You also can be able to add hashtags, AKA communities, which can give information about what your post is about and it'll help users search for your content. So for example, if it's a bikini post, you can do hashtag bikini. Make sure to use communities that are relevant to the post and ones that you think will be searched by users as it will increase your likelihood of being found on the platform. Next, you're also going to choose whether or not your content is adult or not. You're also going to choose whether or not you are the only person in the photo or video. Please make sure to use all compliance if there is a additional person in your piece of content. Um, please let us know if you have any questions on that. Also, you're gonna be able to have the option to choose whether or not you're gonna schedule your post. You can schedule your post in advance or you can post your piece of content in that current moment. That's how you create a public post. Next, I'm gonna show you the different types of private posts. For private posts, you're gonna see a lock icon at the bottom right of your picture or video. This is going to help you decide whether or not that piece of content is locked or the teaser. Any content that has a unlock symbol on a private post is going to be visible to all users and that will be the teaser. But any content that has the yellow lock symbol is going to be locked content that the user has to pay for to view. So see here, we've got a teaser that is unlocked on the far left and a piece of locked content that is locked indicated by the yellow lock icon. If you have all of the content locked and don't provide a teaser, then when you are on your profile, it show as a blurred out piece of content because there is no teaser. So if you want your teaser to be visible, make sure that the first piece of content on your post is unlocked so that it will show up as a teaser. Video content performs better on Slushy than image content, so we highly recommend having your first piece of content visible to be a video so that it performs better on the Slushy algorithm. So as I mentioned, there's two different types of private posts. One is a subscriber only, and one is a pay-per-view post. Subscriber posts go through the same steps as a public. The main difference is it is locked behind that paywall. So only subscribers or users that subscribe to your page are going to be able to see that piece of content. You also can choose your communities on here, whether or not it's adult, and you're also gonna have the option to choose whether or not there's additional people in that post, and if you wanna schedule the post. 
Next, I'm gonna show you how to create a pay-per-view post or PPV post. The main difference is that your, a user has to pay for the actual piece of content in full to be able to access it. You're gonna to wanna to select a price that you think is enticing and it will encourage users to pay for your piece of content. You also have the option to set a sales price. Um, so you can choose what that price is. You can also choose whether or not that sales price expires and how long that sale lasts. You also have the option to go back later and edit your sale on your post. You can choose whether or not it's adult, whether or not it contains other people, and whether or not you wanna schedule it. And that's how you create posts in Slushy V3. Let us know if you have any other questions and have fun. We'll see you on Slushy.